Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 8th, and this is Top Story. From the beginnings of the coronavirus crisis, the question has never been about whether we'd have a vaccine, but when. Now that the government has told states to be ready for distribution by the 1st of November, the race for the vaccine has all gotten caught up with the race for the White House. Picking these dates before the election sort of stokes those fears that the government isn't being duly diligent. Democrats in Congress accuse President Trump of putting politics ahead of science. The leader of the Senate Democrats, Chuck Schumer, says he believes the White House is pressuring the FDA to approve a vaccine to help the president's re-election. At the White House, presidential spokeswoman Kaylee McEnany calls it a bizarre theory. This president wants to break through regulatory barriers to get a vaccine as safely as to the American people as quickly as possible because lives are at stake. She says the director of the Centers for Disease Control sent a letter urging states to be prepared in the event that a vaccine is ready, not saying that a vaccine will be ready. That's unlikely, not impossible. I think most of the people feel it's going to be November, December. The speed at which we're moving is truly unprecedented in the history of our industry or frankly in the face of any other disease. Three COVID-19 vaccines from three different companies are in the final stage of clinical trials. One of those companies is Pfizer, which is promising it will not cut corners. We expect to, by the end of October, normally, uh, should be able to have uh, enough events to say if uh, the product works or not. The government's top health officials say Democrats are undermining the credibility of efforts to fight COVID-19. We already have a significant challenge in this country with vaccine hesitancy and efforts to undermine confidence in, 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 the va in, in a vaccine that would come uh, hurt in terms of people being willing to take a vaccine once it comes through. Also on today's full World Watch show, a major archaeological find in Israel. The palace remains of two major biblical figures. And find out what makes the Los Angeles Olympic logo design different from any that came before it. Plus, we've got much more on our website, worldwatch.news, our full 10-minute program. Plus, you'll be able to watch standalone feature stories or view the newscast to get a quick snapshot of the news of the day and continue on your way. Go there right now, sign up. That's worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.